Perfect timing. I'm almost ready. Did you get your schedule cleared so we could go to Fort Leonard Wood? I am all set. But I'm still not sure you should go with me, though. Why not? You know why. You haven't been cleared yet. Oh, you worry too much. We don't need those rules. And you don't know anything about the military. Going against regulations is not something they take too lightly. Yeah, what are they going to do? Lock me in the brig. Oh, I'm not if I can help hey, you guys. Hey, Riley. You wore the uniform. Will you tell him about the chain of command? Why, what's going on? Well, Luke thinks he can just get onto the base without permission to help me shoot my film. I thought the deal was you were going to go alone. Well, that's true, but I'm not going to do it without Luke. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, if he can't come, I'm not going to use the footage at all. No, no, this is too important. You have a lot of history with that base, as does your father. So you're going to go, you're going to film there, and I'm going to be right there with you, I promise. Look, guys, I really don't think that's such a good idea. Well, then come up with another idea, because we're going to film this movie. <laughs> Let me talk to Hasbro, see what I can do. Okay, and, and we'll get packed. We'd like to start filming today. Hmm. Just do me a favor and wait till you hear from me. See? Problem solved. What kind of information? Well, uh, no, Casey Hughes isn't here right now. Can I take a message? Okay, I will... I will have him call you back. Who's on the phone, Mom? Um, that was the Veterans Administration. They said they, uh, they have no information for you. Great. I gotta go. No, 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 no. Not until you tell me what you're up to. <sighs> Casey, will you stop stalling? Why did you call the VA about Riley? I was just checking up on him. That wasn't necessary. Well, all we know about this guy is what he told us, and I don't trust him. Don't you think that should be the other way around? Shouldn't it be he that doesn't trust you? I mean, after all, you stole his watch. You lied about it. You tried yeah, to get him yes, to leave the house. Yes, I admit I was wrong, but it doesn't mean Riley's on the up and up. But you can't prove it, and the VA isn't going to help you. Then I'll find some other way. Casey, I want you to drop this and, now. Uh, why are you so bent out of shape about this? Like, what are you afraid you're going to find out? There's nothing to find out. End of story. Oh, I don't get you, Mom. What if there's 1% chance that there's something weird going on with Riley? Don't you want to know? No, quite honestly, I don't. Come on, you are a cop, for God's sake. Since when are you afraid to find out the truth out about someone? The truth? I know the truth. I know that Riley is a fine, decent young man. That's what I know. And I believe what he's told us about himself, and I believe what he's told us about Adam. Okay, what, what do you know about this guy, Mom, huh? You act like you know his life story, but guess what? All you know is what he's told you, which means there's probably a lot he doesn't want you to know. I know that you don't like him, and you want to find a way to justify that. So you decided that he's hiding something. Well, he's not. And that's the end of it, Casey. Let it go. I'm going to get back to work. Okay? Look, his mind is made up. Luke is determined on joining Noah at the army base. That is not acceptable. Tell him again that he needs clearance and he won't get it. I did, but he's not backing down. The two of them are coming together no matter what I say. That is not an option. Now, if you... Listen to me, you little... If you don't want your identity exposed, you will find a way to get Noah here by himself. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. No. I can call Marco Hughes right now and tell her all about you or... You can call my son Noah and get this plan back on track. It's your choice. I'm just gonna get my overnight bag. Be right back. Cool. Luke, are you sure you wanna go through with this? I wanna do what's right for you. And you need to make this movie. It's Riley. Listen, I think I may have found a way to get Luke the clearance he needs. Are you serious? That's great. But you're going to have to talk to Lieutenant Hasbro alone first. Just to do a background check. 
Uh, talk to him about the movie. Tell him what you'll need. That's cool. No problem. Good. I'll set it up. Thank you so much, Riley. Who's that? That was Riley. He thinks he might be able to get you a pass onto the base. All I've got to do is talk to Lieutenant Hasbro first alone. Why? I... You want to go over details, you know, like where we're going to be shooting and for how long, stuff like that? Why can't I be there for that? Does it really matter? I don't know. I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this, Noah. I don't want you to go. Veterans Administration? me out. But I'm going to be in a military base. There's going to be tons of people. I'll be perfectly safe. Yeah, I guess so. Luke, if we can't get it past like this onto the base through Riley, we'll go back to plan A. Okay? Cool? Okay, cool. Guys, I told you there's something weird about Riley. Whoa, Casey, I like, what happened? I, I got in contact with the Veterans Administration in D.C. I jumped through all these hoops on forms and stuff, but I got what I was looking for. Dear Mr. Hughes, we regret to inform you that the service member you inquired about, Sergeant Riley Morgan, was killed in the explosion in Kabul, Afghanistan? Well, there's got to be a mistake. Yeah, I mean, Riley's alive. No, but it's not Riley. Look, I got this picture with, with the letter. Wait, wait, wait. If, if this is Riley, then who the hell is the guy living at your house pretending to be your dead brother's friend? That's what I'm here to find out. 